when I migrated to beautiful Australia, I wished for something. My wish was to present the gift of my motherland, Iran, to whoever may not know about it. This gift required me to make immense efforts for even small achievements without expecting to be understood, heard, or seen. Such a challenging gift was what my motherland gave me. I've suffered a lot from this gift, and it took me years of meditation to understand that it is, in fact, a treasure. A valuable treasure of love and passion for life, unaffected by outside world. Now I know that all the pain, pressure, and difficulties one has in life are to make a diamond out of the hidden potential. The stronger the pain, the shinier the diamond will be. But it needs great effort and patience to reach the point where the diamond is revealed to us. We will never know when it's going to happen. We just need to make the effort without any expectation. That can only happen with love and passion. The ones with the heart full of love fight and move forward to extend their boundaries. They are lost in the ocean of love. They don't know where they are when they reach the shore or even if there is any shore at all. They know nothing. Yet, they try hard to dig in the darkest and the most uncomfortable corners of their existence to bring light into their soul. The motherland showed me the way to keep moving through this ocean when there is no help, no sympathy, and nothing to expect. That's where I found trust and faith. When there was nobody to help, someone appeared on time. When there was no one to share with, someone appeared to offer sympathy. When there was nothing to expect, miracles. In November 2013, when I woke up on a bright, crisp spring day, all the knowledge from my heritage had been turned just like grapes into pure wine. And I knew then that I'm going to dance through my paintings in the way that I always love being a dancer. The gift from my motherland, Iran, cannot be stolen and taken from me. The fire of love is there, burning inside me every day, every moment, to make my new self. I believe that my artworks are not of fruits of the tree of my life. They haven't been created through only a few months' work. They're coming from all the pain and the joy and all the tears and the smile. They come from the deepest, darkest and brightest parts of my life. I believe art is created by love. Knowledge of art can help make the art, but it doesn't create it. What delivers art is love, and love is the finest art by itself. What goes on the canvas is just a glimpse of it. I wish to dedicate all the joy in my heart to all the women and men and children of my motherland, 
who make immense efforts for even small gains without being understood, heard, or seen. You are all great expressions of love. I love you, Mother Land. Thank you. Thank you very much.